Hi, my name is Marie Norden, and I am Fedora's Community Action and Impact Coordinator. I have been involved with the Fedora Project since 2013, starting with an outreachy internship working on Fedora badges. Uh, I stayed involved with Fedora over that time, helping out with badges and the design team. And about a year and a half ago, I stepped into a full-time role supporting the Fedora community as their F-cake. Uh, with all kinds of things, such as supporting initiatives such as this, and administrative tasks, event support, et cetera, et cetera. So next we have Mariana. My name is Mariana. I am a Fedora contributor. I started contributing to the Fedora project since 2016. Currently, I work as a product owner for PHPList, which is an open source email marketing solution. Uh, but I also enjoy contributing to open source in general, uh, mostly by organizing local events. And now with COVID, we, everything's going online and we are able to join you today, the Open Source Conference. Hey, I'm Shimantro. Uh, I work as a part of Fedora QA team at Red Hat. And uh, over the course of the last five years uh, that I'm involved with Fedora, I have served multiple small roles, uh, including being a part of Mindshare and being a part of the council as a representative to the same. Um, over, the, over the last five years, I have helped out with mentored projects like Jigsaw, and I have been continuously involved with user support groups where I go answer questions for people who have upgrade issues. So today we are gonna talk a little bit about Fedora project to start with. So Fedora, as most of you know, it's a Linux operating system known to the wider community for desktop as desktop or server. Um, as at the core of the project, we are a very global, diverse set of people. We build softwares uh, mostly based out of very good open source licenses and we tend to keep it more innovative as going on the weekends. We have built uh, a strong community around supporting packaging, developing writers, designers, translators, curators. And Mariana is going to talk about talk more about the project. Fedora is a user-focused operating system, meaning that the end user is uh, its primary focus. And this is why we have a very rapid release cycle. It's not very common to have a, re uh, a release cycle of only six months for an operating system. So this is why there are several spins and different Fedora flavors, which are meant for different purposes. For example, for developers, for designers, or even Neuro Fedora, which is meant for scientific purposes. Uh, also, we have other open source communities that their software is included within Fedora uh, and they share their latest developments and latest changes in order to make their, the end user's life easier. Also, uh, when it comes to the Fedora Foundation where the, the operating system is built upon, friends, features, freedom and first, a very important point here is that the operating system doesn't come only in English. It is important that the end user can switch to a different language. Uh, and this is because we want to reach out to more and more users and hopefully more and more contributors. Uh, also the ask forum, which is a place where end users can go and ask uh, Fedora related questions uh, is in several languages and people can ask and get responses in several languages from other users and contributors. So I'm going to talk about the history of the Fedora Ambassador Program. So first of all, what is the Ambassador Program? The Ambassador Program is a 15 plus year program um, focused on outreach um, to other communities, local user groups, um, technical universities, um, these types of places um, to educate people about Fedora and help them learn to use it and potentially even become Fedora contributors. So that's kind of the goal and the mission of the ambassador program all along. Um, and uh, what are the join SIG advocates and com ops teams? So we have a lot of teams in, in Mindshare and we ended up with 
these kind of branches of community outreach because we needed to fit some different needs as the community evolved. So the Joint SIG actually, um, they are a very front facing group that focuses on um, connecting new contributors to the community, helping them learn about the community and potentially finding a good fit for contrib contributions or just uh, a group of people with similar interests. Advocates are a group of folks that run small events, um, but they don't go quite through all of the same things that the ambassadors may have to learn or be educated about. Um, and the ComOps is an internally focused team working on community operations. So originally their focus was kind of data analysis and um, looking at different ways to improve operations inside of Fedora. So probably wondering like, how did we get to the community outreach revamp? Why is this needed? Well, over time, uh, different things happened that changed uh, how the ambassador program was working. It basically didn't really grow in a sustainable way. There was some questions of how finances were being um, managed and who was going to manage them. And uh, there were some restrictions around that. So based on the different changes that came into place, um, ambassadors weren't feeling great. They were not um, feeling as connected to the program. Um, they still love Fedora and they are still kind of going and doing some of that outreach on their own. But the ambassador program itself kind of started dying off. So uh, about a year ago, a little bit over a year ago, I wrote up a proposal based on um, some research I had done in a book I had read um, called Switch, How to Change When Change is Hard, about how we could take the ambassador program from, you know, kind of dwindling and um, kind of seen as uh, a failing program to a success. So I wrote that proposal. I uh, proposed it to the Mindshare Committee, and after rounds of feedback with the community, um, everyone was on board, and then we got started. Once our team was formed back in July 2020, we started planning our first steps. So the very first thing was actually to document our next steps and what we were going to work on uh, in the upcoming months. Initially, we created a trailer board, hoping that we will have more people on board and trying to help us from the community. Uh, but eventually, we realized that people were not very happy with it, and we retired it. But we have a public hack and deep file where we keep notes on everything we work on and how we do, uh, how we process everything we work on. Once the team was formed, it was the time to announce it. Uh, to the community and this is why we had a couple of calls video calls with community members and the fedora council and some of these are also on youtube uh, from last year we shared with the community everything that marie mentioned earlier why this team was formed and how and what is the the end goal of this initiative the very first thing that we worked on was the ambassadors group cleanup. This is why uh, the team was formed and this is the first thing that we did. What we did was that we, um, we tried to figure out which ambassadors had not been active in the past six months uh, from their FAST account activity. So the FAST account is a global account that you have within the Fedora systems and you can log in everywhere with that account. We went back six months. So we did that in November. So November and going back six months, we checked who has not been active through their account and we reached out to them. We let them know about the, the revamp. We told them that they were going to be moved to the Emeritus group. And if they wanted to continue, they are more than welcome to continue holding the ambassador's title. Uh, or if they want to come back in the future, that is more than, than fine. The next thing after the ambassadors group cleanup was the community outreach survey. This is one of the, the things that we did that I'm very proud of because we, uh, we got very interesting uh, results back. 
we created a survey where we prepared a list of questions we wanted to ask community members, both ambassadors and advocates. And the results that we got, some of them were pretty surprising. For example, we found out that federal contributors love uh, self-organizing and organizing events without asking for funding or from uh, support from the Fedora Mindshare Committee, which is the official committee to, where you go uh, to ask funding or to make a proposal. So this meant that there is a lot of Fedora activity out there that we were not aware of because people don't share it. And this is a very important insight to work on in the future. The next thing was the Mindshare team interviews. Mindshare uh, is, a, is a group of people within the Fedora community which tries to um, not control but have an eye on the different uh, Fedora teams within the community and there is a representatives from uh, every community. And we prepared again a set of questions in order to find out what the Mindshare team members think about the community and their proposals and everything. The next thing was to become a Fedora objective. So Fedora has objectives uh, for each release cycle. Most of the times these are uh, objectives that um, are, are about a certain feature for the operating system. But this time it was different. It was a community related uh, objective and we hope to have our objective done uh, by the end of this year. So, there we go. Our work continues in the upcoming months. Our work in progress project, I like to call all of these things sub-projects within the, the revamp, uh, is the role handbooks. The role handbooks is meant to be um, a little bit of documentation on what each uh, contributor slash community member can do within the community, but not as a job description. So if you're part of the marketing team, you do this, this, and this, but what do you receive back? So we, we try to create documentation from the contributor's perspective, other than just a list of tasks you can uh, work on if you join a team. The next thing was uh, helping the Fedora Council with some uh, questions. An engagement survey was launched from the uh, Fedora Council and it's still going on. It will be going on until the end of this month. Uh, in order again to find out some, a little bit more uh, details on also the use of the operating system and what a Fedora user do with the software. So far, we have presented our revamp on DevConf CZ. Uh, also, at the Fedora release party we had last month, and we will be speaking at the Community Central uh, in a couple of days. And you're more than welcome to join us there as well. Another part of the revamp um, that we're lucky to have is uh, an outreachy intern. So. I am, have a background in graphic design, as I mentioned before. So I am mentoring an internship through Outreachy. Um, and uh, we have brought this person on, actually starting at the end of May. And she's already been, uh, been doing awesome work for us. And she's gonna help us really try to cement some of the identity by helping us with branding and resources and strengthening those um, assets like the role handbooks that we were talking about. So uh, she'll be with us. Her name is Daria Chowdhury through August, the end of August. So she'll be with us through Nest, helping us with work adventure for that. And she's also doing things like updating the logos, providing infographics to help understand the team structures and the team roles. Um, we're making some swag for the team to be able to hand out and to also just use on their own computers in places where they want to look at them. Um, we also have this really cool thing in Fedora called Cheat Cubes, and we've had them around for quite a while, but they haven't been updated. So we're looking to update um, those and kind of modernize them, make them um, really the new Fedora logo and make them uh, accessible to everybody to print at home. 
Um, so we also are working on how to join Fedora printable handouts so that folks uh, in the ambassador teams and outreach teams have these types of things that they can just use at home uh, really to help empower that kind of self-organizing. Um, and then also Team Swag. We hope to get something for the folks on the different teams to help them feel a bit more connected. Coming to the part of future, right? So Marie and Mariana talked a little, talked at length about what we have done. And now, but when it comes to how we are looking to present this as, as a community give back to the, to the upstream, which is we want to make Fedora's community uh, ambassadors model as one of those, a smart, modern, robust uh, model for everybody to adopt. It's it's going to be more like a open ambassadors program model, which others can also take as a reference to build their ambassadors program. More importantly, this particular uh, way of doing the work is to make sure that we sustain as we grow. So the whole idea would be to sustain our current contributors as well as grow with, or rather provide capacity to grow through this program. In the, in the past, we have suffered a lot with growth and we have severely suffered a lot about um, a lot with sustainability. So the whole idea was to bring content more and more reachable or onboarding guides more and more reachable to everybody. And one of the ways we have been trying to do that is have this role handbooks have been made in multiple languages or six to eight key languages. We want to also make sure that these are uh, provided as a form of onboarding guides to all the members who want to join as a part of this group and they, so that they can actually understand the change much better and they can perform um, in cognizant with the change that we are trying to bring at the community. The whole thing that we have tried to focus upon with this revamp is fostering this identities of individuals and a long-term strategy. So one of those way that we want to build this identity up is to make sure that we have, we create uh, the sense that everybody needs to work together. So marketing needs to work with design and design needs to work with, you know, translations and everybody needs to work as a single unit to make this revamp possible. The way we are trying to make this much, much easier for more and more teams to work with is we are having surveys as we go on to build up this awareness inside the community. And that will help us with this long-term strategy of involving more and more contributors as a part of the ongoing revamp as well as after the revamp. Uh, moving on, Marie would have some insights about how this whole program came to existence. So yeah, I want to share a couple of insights or, or kind of few points is, that are around this revamp. So the number one being that we're applying something I call RISE to this initiative. RISE is something that I came up with to kind of uh, evaluate and support the Fedora community. And uh, basically it's made up of recognition, incentive, support, empowerment. And um, really I feel like these four traits really need to be in, in place for a community to be happy and healthy. So as we've been doing this revamp, we've been putting um, the different sub projects we've been working on as mariana said um you know evaluating them with this rise concept are they providing these things to the fedora community and um can we do these things better um we've also seen a wonderful shift in attitude from the community as we mentioned there were some issues and conflict with with how things had evolved with the ambassador program and with outreach in general, we're a huge community and people are very passionate about their identity as Fedorans and their identities as Fedora ambassadors. So there were a lot of emotions and tension that was around this topic. So when we first started, frankly, we saw some, some negativity 
and some folks kind of thinking that this wasn't something we could accomplish. Um, as we've continued to work on it over the last year, we've seen so much positivity. Um, people are getting excited when we talk about it now. People are coming to our sessions at the release party and asking really good questions and helping us um, form this and continue to evolve the revamp and, and make it a success. So we're super excited to see that. Uh, lastly, we, Fedora is a huge place and we are still trying to raise awareness about the work that we're doing and hopefully get people excited and um, ready to kind of start up when, when all of the documentation and all of the resources are in place. It's going to be a great happy day. So um, thanks everybody for coming to our presentation. Uh, this is a recorded video, so we are going to be live in the chat right now to take any questions. Um, and we hope to give you an update again in the future. Thanks again.